What's up guys? This is Jay from Revolution Radio and um, I just wanted to talk about something that was interesting that happened last night. Um, around this area we have had a lot of lightning and thunder. A lot of storms. Um, I'd say since probably Tuesday. So it's, you know, so about three days. And um, my son is terrified. And uh, for good reason, by the way. Uh, for some reason, in our house, in our area, every time we have a significant amount of, of thunderstorms, we lose power. And um, that's a, an issue for him. Which I get. It's an issue for me, too. Um, but so we're standing outside last night. And lightning hit. And my son says, well, how, how close do you think it's going to be? How, how soon before the storm reaches us? And so I taught him. I said, look, when you, if you count, you can actually count the miles into how far a storm is away by when you hear the lightning to the thunder. And, until you hear the thunder. And so I taught him how to do that. And it was kind of interesting because I didn't think he was listening for one. But I try to do these things um, just to give him some survival skills. I'm a millennial. I love video games and being inside and and not being um, too handy or anything. So I want to be able to pass on to him some of those things. And um, what's interesting is today that we're heading out. That storm rolling in, and we went over to my grandma's, and we're standing on the porch getting ready to leave, and the same thing, lightning, and my grandma says, oh yeah, well, you guys better hurry up, storm looks like it's coming here, and my son says, oh no, it's still about 10 miles away. And I said, how do you know that? And he says, I counted like you taught me. And I thought that was really cool. You know, because half the time you don't think these kids listen. They listen a lot more than you think they do. And they're little sponges. If you're somebody like me, try to invest a little bit of time and energy into teaching them a little bit about survival skills and techniques that you're going to need. You're not always going to have electricity. You might get lost. I've had certain instances where <laughs> some of these skills that I considered kind of archaic uh, ended up really saving me. I know that there was a weekend um, in my college days. We went out to a lake. And um, needless to say, I got lost. It was dark. The only thing I knew was that the lake be it so big I couldn't have walked past it and it was somewhere to the north I used the whole north star method and um, I got back to my friends uh, so it'd be something dumb that you don't even think like why would you need to know that but it ends up helping you but it can also be important things as well one thing I noticed that a lot of parents aren't doing and I kind of remember it was a big thing when I was a kid um, but it is setting forth a plan for your family. Where, if there was a fire, where are we going to meet? What's the, what's the standard procedure of, of actions during a fire? Now, granted, that's a really hard one to plan for, but you'll be happy if you ever have a fire that you've talked to your family about what to do. You know, this is the meeting place. As soon as you see a fire, get the heck out of the house. And this place is where you need to go. Now, I, I know as a parent, you're, you're thinking, why why would I do that? Why would I? I'm going to grab my kid and then leave. What if you can't reach your kid? What if your kid's already gone? What if you're looking and there's no one there? At least you can run out to that meeting place and see if they're there. So you have one place at least that's designated for for your family to meet up these things are not talked about if you live in tornado uh like tornado alley like we do 
you have a plan. And this is what's going to happen. This is where we're going to go. It's what we're going to do. It helps in multiple ways. One, it makes them feel more safe because they know they have an idea of what they're going to do. They know these, these things exist. They know these things can be problems. Um, so it's just one thing that I try to talk to any of my friends around my age or people around my age that we're missing a part of this because of technology and because we don't even have that much of it. I mean, we could probably tell you how to hack in to uh, a Super Nintendo Classic system and add 2,000 games to it way before we could tell you how to change oil in a car. But that's why we need to keep those skills. And, you know, one thing you can do, too, that I, I noticed really went a long way is... um. When I'm out and around, uh, driving around town, I'll ask my son, and I've done this for years, so he knows he's pretty good. Um, he can actually guide us for a while, but but I'll ask him, I'll say, okay, I'm going to have you decide which way we turn, how we get home. And I'll just, I'm not saying anything, you tell me which way to go. And it helps him become more aware of their surroundings. Sometimes I'll do a trick where I say, oh, James, you know, uh, if we were stuck somewhere, out in the middle of nowhere, where are we going to get water? What would we do for food? How would we how would we build shelter? And it does, it makes them think a little bit more. It makes them think about what they could use as resources. You know, um, how would we get help? Things like this. And if you're not sure, look it, look it up. Um, there's a lot of guides everywhere on the internet. It's just stuff we don't think about, and things we don't even really... Oh, I got my phone. You may not have your phone. It might be dead. Uh, could be a situation where phones aren't working. But you definitely want to have everything you, ha you, you can to survive. Um, another one that I found is really kind of fun to do is... And I didn't know how to do it. But we were going to have a barbecue. So instead of just pulling out, you know, the the smoker, the smoky jar, any of those things, I built a fire camp. I had no idea how to build a fire. I've never done it before. I looked online and I kind of learned and and then we figured out, okay, how are we going to cook on this? How are we going to do that? And so it was an opportunity for me, for both of us to learn, honestly. And it gives them an idea of what to do and, and how to how to do it if they need to. Again, we all hope like a lot of these situations are only, you know, um, just uh, for recreational. You're out and around. Oh, we're gonna camp. We're doing it old school. Yeah, cool. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes, yeah, you're stuck somewhere and you can't get a hold of anyone. You have to camp down. Yeah, it's never happened to me, but it could. And it could definitely happen to our kids. And if nothing else, like I said, if you really don't think any of this is going to help, it teaches them critical thinking. Be aware of your surroundings. Understand that uh, you, everything you have can be used more than one way. The other thing that I would say that has really been pretty cool is I had him help me build a survival bag. And I told him why we need what we need. What it's going to be used for. I don't think any of it's going to actually be used at all, to be honest. Uh, we haven't had a tornado here in 38 years. We haven't had any major natural disasters. Uh, I, I almost would get, guarantee you that part of the survival kit will be used... Um, because I ran out of water or something. I wanted a, a bottle of water. But I know that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just stay where it is. But it's always good to have these practices set up and then to teach little skills along the way. And my son's seven, so I think he's at a pretty good track. He knows how to do quite a bit. And it's interesting how well that you can use this as a bonding time and also as an educational time. And everything we do as parents, you have to realize, can be a learning experience. 
One thing I like to do with my son when we go shopping. I'll have him get most of the ingredients I need. And I'll always tell him, okay, I want a, me a middle-priced can of corn. I want the cheapest can of tomato pasta. Tomato soup, whatever. Tomato pasta. <laughs> I meant to say tomato paste, but yeah. Oh, I want, you know, bread. We, we want to get the, the most expensive bread. And I'll have him do all that. It's teaching. It's teaching a lot of skills is what it's doing. I don't know. This is my thought. I think feel like that's something that we should do more of and that we're losing that. The other thing that I think to embrace what we know is teach your child how to use Google. It's pretty easy. And throw in YouTube in there too because YouTube is a great tool. I know for me and my people my age, we don't understand why people still ask questions. I don't know how many times, uh, you know, a younger friend of ours, especially younger, they'll come come to hang out and, hey, uh, do you know how blah, blah, blah works? No, but I can find it here in a second. I've definitely taught my son about that as well. In different manners, but you, you, you can apply it to anything. The way I've used it, to teach him how to look up answers and how to research it's been for video games he really loves video games and sonic the hedgehog and there's certain games where you you're not exactly sure what to do especially because he's into those retro old games and i've taught him though if you want to find an answer how to search for it if you're trying to figure out how to build something how to construct something YouTube. You can find a lot on YouTube. But it's these kind of things that I think we're, we're kind of losing as parents as far as teaching. And it may not even be up our alley, but you have to come out of your comfort zone just a little bit to enrich your kid's life. Anyway, that's just my opinions on it. I'm uh, curious what you guys have to think. Or have to say, rather. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, anyway, Jay Dillon on Facebook, J-A-Y-D-Y-L-A-N. On Twitter, it's JC Show VIP. Google Pods, uh, iTunes, Anchor, and Spotify. It's Revolution Radio. Or search for the producer, Z-A-K-K-D-I-L-L-O-N. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great evening.